Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. Thank you so much for being here. Again, if you are a returning subscriber, if you are new, hi, my name is Adjarel, and in today's video, we're going to be playing with the Pat McGrath palette. I'm super excited to be doing this video finally. This palette has been sitting here in my vanity for a little while maybe like since last week but today is the day that we're going to be playing with it i don't know if we're going to be able to create multiple looks today but i'm definitely going to be creating more videos using this palette so you guys can get inspiration from it and just get ideas of what you can do with this palette so yeah i haven't even seen it <laughs> so let's go ahead and open it up um, and yeah, let's go ahead and start with the video. But before we do, please don't forget to like. That definitely helps out my channel a lot. And subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. So this is the Pat McGrath Lab Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey Artistry palette so here we have the box that comes in and as you can see it's the same packaging for the palette it is cardboard but it does feel really nice and sturdy and a little bit heavier uh, it does have a magnetic closure and you do have a beautiful beautiful mirror the only thing is that you do have this little strings right here on the side that just keeps on um, pulling the mirror back down just keep that in mind and here are all the shades, just in case you haven't seen them. They are absolutely beautiful. That blue, those blues and greens are definitely my type of colors. Right away, I did notice that there's only four mattes, just like in her previous palette from last year. Um, and you do get a lot of metallic and shimmer shades as well. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the palette from last year here it is so here we have the palette from this year and here we have the palette from last year i do really like this year's so much better just because it's definitely a color story that appeals more to me for my liking um so yeah last year was beautiful as well i actually do like the packaging from this year a lot better like the matte black on the background it's okay but i think that it actually looks so much better with the glossiness of the background right here it just reminds me of her regular palettes so it does have a shelf life of 12 months and this is made in the u.s of u.s and imported ingredients just so you guys know I am going to prime my eyes and bring you in a little closer and I'm going to be priming my eyes using my P. Louise base which is pretty much what I use every single time that I do my eyes so let me do that and bring you in closer so I'm going to start with this shade right here and I'm going to take it on a fluffy brush this is the refer 27 brush and this shade is going to be our transition shade and it has a lot of pigment as you can see I'm applying it on the crease and just bringing it up towards the brow bone but just leaving a little bit of space so I haven't gone back in into the palette it's a lot of pigment so you don't need to go back in unless you want to build it up I'm just going to dab a little bit more just add it a little bit more on the outer part and I'm going to take now this brown right here. Um, okay, so the first one that we took is the Heavenly Body, right? No. Um, electric? Okay, so the names of the shades are on the back, but I can never get this right. I'm always going to get it wrong, and I'm just going to point to the shades because that's the only way that I'm going to be able to continue because I can't go back and guess which one it is. So I do apologize for that. I know some of you do not like that, but I do really apologize for that. Let's go ahead and get this brown right here. That's a lot of pigment. So I'm just going to tap it in the outer part. Oh, I love that. So I really thought that we were not going to get a shade that is going to give us depth, but as you can see, that's beautiful and it's going to give us the depth that we need for any looks that we create just whatever's on our brush 
just going to add it to the inner part and we're going to create that halo look just gonna bring it up and with whatever is on the brush I'm going to just diffuse it make it blend into the first shade that we applied and just going back and forth with those two shades to your liking let me go with my first gut which is this one right here I'm just going to grab it on my finger and I'm going to put that in the center so I thought it was a gold shade but it actually is a gold with a little bit of pinkiness to it it is absolutely beautiful all right with a mac 242 brush or a flat brush like this i'm going to take this one right here i'm just going to add it a little bit right in the center this even brings it up even more that's gorgeous just applying that right in the center all right, for the inner corner, we're going to try this one right here. All right, guys, with a um, smaller brush, I'm going to take this brown right here. And I'm going to put it in the outer part. And again, in the inner corner. Cleaning the brush, I'm going to go back with this shade right here and just add in it right in the middle. I decided to take that inner corner out let me fix it i am going to add an inner corner which is this one right here but that's going to be after i do my foundation and powder and everything i'll show you the final look like right now all right guys so here we have look number one all right so let's go ahead and do this eye what can we do what can we do let's go ahead and do some pink and greens i'm going to start with this matte shade right here just for our transition shade i'm going to add this pink right here we're going to add that on top of what we just added all right i'm going to clean up just a little bit because it went a little bit too low i'm going to clean up this area right here so taking this mauve shade one more time with a more precise brush just to build it up a little bit and following the same area where it is and whatever is on your brush just blend it up I'm adding a little bit of the primer just because we wiped it off All right guys, we're going to start with this blue right here. And we're going to bring it a third of the way. All right, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to take this shade right here and we're going to deepen it up in the outer V. All right, now we're going to take this beautiful green right here. And we're going to marry those two. Come back with a pink, blending the edges. All right, in the very inner corner, I'm going to add this shade right here. This is why I love doing my eyes first, just because I can be as messy as I want and then clean it up. All right, I'm going to take the darker shade again. Just going to really focus that in the outer corner. I'm going to add the pink shade. And just connecting the inner corner shade right here. All right, guys, so in the bottom part, right in the middle, I'm going to add this pink shade right here. Just because it does have a little bit of shimmer, so I'd rather have for it to have a little bit of shimmer yep so much better and I'm going to drag a little bit of that green so here we have a really nice glam look and here is the fun look <laughs> and 
here we have look number two. And here we have both of the looks. All right, guys, so what do we think about the palette? It is amazing. It is Pat McGrath palette. We were not expecting anything less than what we got. I absolutely love all the shades that I use. They were amazing to blend, to work with, the pigmentation, the blendability, everything about this palette from the shades that I use just worked super amazing. I am really in love with this look right here because I love colorful looks. So this one right here is definitely speaking to me in a different level. Of course, you can do more wearable looks like you can see from this look right here. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to actually try this palette again and create more looks for you guys. Let me know in the comment section and down below if you're interested in seeing that for sure. But I am... 100% still going to do a video using this palette again because I think that we need to play with this as much as we can and of course I want to inspire you guys to create some cool looks as well so it is a limited edition palette so if you definitely want to grab it I would suggest for you to consider it um, of course watch other reviews so I can help you out with your decision if you are considering in purchasing this palette but that's it my friends thank you so much for being here your time and your love and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you next time bye which one do you like baby which look This one, of course. I like this one. That's why you and I are together. Mm. <laughs> this Thank lip you. gloss right here is gonna Thumbs burn. Off. It's gonna burn your lips. Why would it burn my lips? Because it is <laughs> a plumping lip gloss. <laughs>